What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Walking Dead, Telltale's The Walking Dead, Season 3, A New Frontier. Right, let's go make some friends, I guess. It looks like someone's in the middle of a game. Out of order, what's this? Phantom Punch. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. It's an old arcade cabinet. It's probably uh, been there all along, mate. Drunk guy. Hello, barmaid. Barman, sorry, not barmaid. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game, clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, you again. Yes, <laughs> me again. You got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Uh... <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Nah, he just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place. I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, <laughs> don't get too intimidated. Oh. I lose more often than I care to admit. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. One good hand. Fold? Mm, fold. Doesn't feel right. Mm, go with your gut. Fold. I don't play poker. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Whoa. Thanks for the warning. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean it. That could have cost me. How's about a drink? On my tab. Well, that was lucky. I have no idea how to play poker. Bottoms up. So it could have gone either way, oh, really. Man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire! He could have gotten both of us killed! Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because uh, I don't scare you. Yeah, she doesn't right? need one. And I don't respond to threats, neither. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Damn right well, she can. You can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come Ooh, on. Clint. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, dude, why are you trying to attack us? Your bullets are on worse shit, mate. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of here. No, you just thought we weren't gonna do That's shit cool. about it. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Clem. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. 
Does she really have to shoot? Uh, not really, but... I mean, <sighs> yes, she was justified. It was just an accident. Uh, I, I've got to stick up for her. Yeah, justified. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Well, thank you. I guess, at hey. least. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Did you have to pull the trigger a, time. a third time, though? I mean, you and I are a team now. Second time. Thanks. I mean it. Just... Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? Hello? Ooh, who are you? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Hi, Eleanor! Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Pleasure's all Javier. mine. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Oh, yes. Now, let's see about <laughs> that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Ooh, you think I'm pretty now? Ooh. I've never understood it. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. It happened two minutes if you don't ago. Mind me what, are asking, <laughs> what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Uh, things got a little out of hand. Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then. You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. Uh, mm, we're already in trouble. We don't want to get anyone else in trouble. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... Pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? Fair enough. He didn't kill us or anything, so, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Uh... If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. How do you plan to get what? me out of this cage, though? Seriously. I mean, you do that for me. It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. 
you know? I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Why? What's your reasoning? Go with Trip in the morning, leave with Eleanor tonight. Hmm. Well... We need to get back to the junkyard as fast as we can. Eleanor has offered to take us there. Because she is a medic. It will piss Trip off. But Trip just wants us out of his out of his hair. So I don't think he would really care that we're gone. Just Just that we're out of his hair and out of the compound. So we'll leave with Elena. I mean, she says that she doesn't trust Eleanor. She trusts Trip more than Eleanor, but she hasn't given a reason. So, yeah, more context as to why she doesn't trust Eleanor would have been nice. But we do need to get back to the family. We're leaving tonight with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. Cool. You Cheers, Clem. When I met you. I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Flashback time. I'm guessing. Usually flashback when it goes all black and white. Yep, there's Clem, there's That's AJ. Good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. There's Kenny. Now just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now let's try shifting into second. He's teaching her how to drive. Ooh. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. Yeah, can't we find an automatic? <laughs> I don't know why we didn't pick an automatic. Because every car out there ain't an automatic. You need to be able to drive whatever you find keys for. Uh, okay. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. Yes, he has a you point. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Florida really better? Are you sure Florida's better? I'd rather be scared and warm than scared and frozen. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Uh, yeah, thanks for teaching me, Ken. Hey. I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The Duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but... something. I think there's something wrong with him. Shouldn't he be talking by now? Well, maybe. But let's give him a few more months before we start to worry, okay? Crap! Oh, oh, oh. Tank I got it. Turn the wheel! Don't! Shit! Hey, 
AJ? Oh God, you're okay. He's good. Kenny, why did you? No, no, no. Kenny? No, 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 no. Oh fuck! Please no. Don't you dare, game. Don't you even dare. You're alive. You're alive. Fuck Thank that. God. Oh, jeez. Is it AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. Quick. Come on. Come on, Kenny. You tough son of a bitch. I don't. I don't feel anything. Th that's good. No. Clem, I don't feel anything. Feel my legs. Oh shit. I just can't get up. Oh my god, no, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Uh, let me try again. Shit. Shit. Oh, hey, fuck. hey! Stay away from him! Draw them, draw them to you. You gotta go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, 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 no. Clementine, no, no. Kenny, there's no. no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! No! Fuck! Game! <laughs> AJ! Oh. Come on! Fuck, man! Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. <laughs> Don't Sounds I know it. like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Fuck yeah, you, game. It. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. The only thing is, it doesn't even give you time to grieve. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Cassette player. <laughs> Grab and kill it. Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first. But once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh no. No, no sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. The ambulance. Oh no, truck. They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fired the truck. We might hit them. 
Draw their attention, fight my name. There we go. Ooh, nice. nice one, Abby. Press Q, kill muertos. Las muertos. You right there, love? Surely not. You just have to save. Okay, whatever. Javi! You found us. Hey, hey. It's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? <laughs> That's just my gun. <laughs> hey, did this disappoint you? But that really is a gun in my pocket. <laughs> nice to see you too, asshole. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? This is Clementine. Does she have a name you want to share with us? She saved my life. She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. That's if Trip doesn't chew oh our faces God. off. Javi, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. I... Oh, and bubble bath. I think Wouldn't so. Bubble I've bath not even... be amazing. No idea. I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Yeah, don't jinx it. Sort of incredible. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. I'm just... happy for you is all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Oh, be I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Oh, shit. Mari. Who the fuck are they? Those guys again. Javi! We can't leave her! Oh, oh you Kate! Shit! Oh. Kate! Stay where the fuck you are! Kate, Kate, Kate. Stop! Stop Javi! What, what are you doing? Are you fucking dumb or what? Javi, help! Return fire. Oh god. I 
can't believe it. She just... I know, Javi. And there will be time for all of that. But not right now. I need to get Kate back to Prescott so I can help her. Which means we have to go. We have a window here, Javi. We have to move before they start shooting again. No, 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 Maria. I can't leave her like this. I won't. That's not going to bring her back, Javi. Now get up. We can't wait anymore. We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go now. We already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're going to come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. If we can keep them Trust back. Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, Stand please fight. come with us. Stand fight. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, Gabe. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Push them back. Let them escape. Everything will be fine. Oh, nice shot, Clem. Uh, pipe bomb. You might Hobby, want to get down. Don't! Unless it was a flashbang. I don't know. Ooh, that was episode one. Ooh, did you stay the night at the junkyard? You and 40% of the players chose to head back out on the road. Okay, so I was uh, in the minority of that one. Did you shoot the driver or let him go? You and 43% of the players to chose to shoot the driver. I'm in the minority of that one as well. What was the aftermath of the shooting? You and 94% of the players got locked up. 5.3% of the players didn't get locked up. How? Wait, how? Oh, unless if you were um, honest, then you may not have got locked up. Who brought you to the junkyard? You and 46% of the players went with Eleanor, in the minority again. Did you escape with your family or stay with Clementine? You and 83% of players stay with Clementine. Well, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you stay with Clementine? Like, two guns, two people. We keep the others back. Uh, we cover, cover the, fa cover the, cover, cover our family, cover Eleanor, let them escape, and then whatever happens to us, it doesn't really matter. Cool. gonna get it next time on The Walking Dead. Obviously it's not gonna be Lee's voice. No, no next time no next time on The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. What are extras? Your choices. Oh it's just showing our choices. Okay. No worries. Cool. Well that was That was an interesting first episode. Uh we got to meet Javier and his family. Finally met up with Clementine. Uh, yeah, we're not controlling Clementine this time, but we've met up with her a lot earlier than I thought that we may have. So that's pretty cool. Still don't know about, uh, again, still don't know about Krista. We lost Kenny. Kenny fucking died. Screw you, game. Screw you, Telltale. And, you know, and like I said, the annoying thing is, it didn't even give us time to grieve. It was like, hey, flashback, uh, this is what happened to Kenny. Yeah, he's now dead. Uh... Back to the game. Uh, fuck you, game. Fuck you. I can't believe they killed Kenny. You bastards. But <laughs> Um. So yeah, so excited for uh, episode two. Thankfully, we don't have to wait long for episode two. Uh, because they released episode two the same time as they released episode one. Which is not normal for Telltale. Normally they release episode one and then you have to wait a good four or five months or however long for episode two and then three and then four and then five. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, it may have been a bad idea to grab whatever that was. I don't know if it was a pipe bomb or a flashbang. It might have been a bad idea, but eh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see the repercussions of what it was. But anyway guys, thank you all so very much for watching. And I shall see you all next time as ever. Bye-bye.